a Saturday morning. I have the day off. And I am three miles up river paddling in my canoe. The river is up and flowing. It's up about six feet from rain two days ago. And right now I am enjoying an eddy way and the shade of a tree. I'm going to make my way upriver, oh, probably another couple of miles, and then stop and have a snack. Flatbread sandwich, peanut butter, craisins smashed in it, and a spot of coffee. It's a beautiful morning. It was uh, foggy to start the day. I'm paddling on the Indiana shoreline uh, because there's a plant that is being built on the other side. It's in the camera frame. And that would, uh, in order to go around that construction area, I would have been the main current. Very undesirable. So I crossed the river onto the Indiana shoreline and I've just been paddling up very near the shoreline. The uh, current is significantly less. And as I mentioned right here, I'm actually sitting relatively still, enjoying a very quiet eddy way. Back to paddling. We'll pick you up later. Well, I found a spot to come ashore. And uh, so I'm about seven miles, seven and a quarter miles up river still on the Indiana shoreline, uh, finding a place to actually bring the boat on, on shore. Quite a challenge today uh, because with the river being up, a lot of the trees are actually underwater and this vegetation around is actually partially underwater too. So finding an area where there's actually open ground, a big challenge. Uh, but I did find a spot. so. I'm going to call this my lunch place, grab my bag, set up some coffee, have a sandwich, sit down and relax for a few minutes, and enjoy nature. So I got the jet boil going. It's got water and coffee grounds in it. I actually forgot my coffee cup today. That's okay. That right there will work as the cup itself. Flatbread, peanut butter, and craisins. And then I got a couple of apples in here for cleaning up my teeth and uh, finishing off the meal. And this jet boil is so quick, it's only been on for about 90 seconds, and she's already come into a boil. There she goes. So with coffee, she comes all the way up to the top. The water line is actually way down here. And then after she rises all the way to the top, I just cut her off. And then I'll just let her sit. Because it's too hot to drink right now. So my boat's down there about 75 feet. And uh, this is the flattest spot I could find. Right behind me about four feet is a ravine and that drops down almost as low as what the uh, what the river is um, so it's actually a really really pretty sight it's a beautiful day yeah my lunch area is all packed up and other than the uh, very light footprint, I'll be leaving no trace.
no wrappers, no debris, didn't have to cut on anything. This is that ravine that I mentioned that's right behind where I was seated. Super pretty. It's got a, a very small flow of water through it, but when it rains heavy and in the springtime, evidence that this runs very quickly is uh, the depth of it. So estimating that's 25 feet deep. And these are the woods that I enjoyed. So a measure of success of the length of this paddle, which is uh, 9 feet 3 inches long, because I put this wood extension in it, so a measure of success of that is that I paddled 7 miles, which is approximately 1,200 paddle strokes per mile, so over 8,000 paddle strokes. And that is how much water came into the boat, just that little bit. So the reason for extending the paddle was to keep the blades outside the gunnels so that they wouldn't draw water into the boat. And this boat at the gunnels is 32 inches. Uh, the hull itself is actually 31 inches at the widest point. So if you're looking to buy a fairly narrow canoe, you might want to consider a double bladed paddle, but know that you want a longer than average. And if you can't find one for purchase, you might want to modify it. Well, I'm going to get ready to push back off, and I think I will follow the river with the current. It took me an estimated two and a half hours to come up the river, and I was staying very near these submerged trees because that is where the current is the slowest. There's an airplane. Going downstream, I'm going to stay in the main part of the current, which will be super easy to do because all I have to do is push out about 40 feet from the shoreline, and I will be enjoying a 3 mile an hour surface current and paddling at about 3 miles an hour. So that says that I should get back down to the boat ramp in about an hour and 15 minutes, which seems reasonable since I've done this before, and going upriver takes a lot longer than going down. And I'm very fortunate because there's clouds moving in, so I won't have uh, the raw sun to be dealing with, which is really, really nice. Well, I checked upriver, which is behind me, and there are no barges coming. So I'm out from the shoreline, about 70 feet or so. And as expected, moving at a really nice clip. So I'm just relaxed paddling. I'm going probably five, a little over five miles an hour enjoying the two and a half to three mile surface current. See if I can give you some perspective. I've slowed 
my paddling down so I stabilize the camera for you. And even with slowing my paddling down, you might be able to tell we're moving at a pretty good clip. So I put in at about 7.30 this morning. Stop for lunch right around estimated 10 o'clock. So it's probably around 10.30 now. I should get back to the boat dock before noon. What a great day. What a great morning. Keeps my afternoon open. I might do some uh, work in the garage on my cedar plank canoe paddle. I've got quite a bit of shaving to do on the shaft. They're uh, significantly too thick right now. And I uh, want to bring those down in size. That'll also reduce the weight. And then do some more modification on the paddle blade itself. Because uh, those are actually significantly too thick. Uh, there's still about five eighths of an inch thick, and I can bring those down to it to probably three eighths of an inch. That will reduce some of the weight. Once I get the paddle right, I'll seal it up and uh, make it waterproof. Hope to have that done in, within the uh, next six weeks.